Cortez and Averex. Will we ever see a collab? Probably not. And it's sad, because not only would that be an epic link up between the old school and the new school, but also both brands were actually interested in collaborating at one point or another. So what went wrong? In July of 2022, Averex relaunched in the UK. A couple months later, in September of 2022, Averex reached out to Cortez, proposing a collab, but they got no response. Until a month later, when Klimt419 finally responded with three words, it's too late. He then took a screenshot of the DM and posted it on his Instagram story. That same day, he also posted a pic on IG where he could be seen on the tube posing in an exclusive Cortez yellow leather jacket, with a striking similarity to Averex's icon bomber jacket. In the comments section, Franklin Boateng, aka the King of Trainers, proposed an Averex Cortez collab. Franklin would have been the perfect person to facilitate this for a number of reasons. He runs the Averex store in Box Park Shoreditch and works very closely with the brand, but Clint doesn't respond. Instead, he pins a comment to the top of the comment section which reads, It's too late. Later that night, Clint explains on Twitter that he emailed Averex a year and a half earlier, but they never got back to him. Just for reference, a year and a half before them would have been sometime around April of 2021. So this would have been a few months before viral moments in Cortez's history, such as the pop-up in Soho and the Great Bolo Exchange. Anyway, a couple of months after Clint vowed to get reparations for Averex's rejection, he shared images of him and his guys rocking black Cortez leather jackets. The King of Trainers showed love on that post, so evidently no hard feelings there. We soon learned that this jacket was called the Skydive. On December 22nd of 2022, Cortez released an epic ad featuring Clint's good friend Sloan free falling out of the sky while rocking the jacket. Cortez dropped the jacket a few days later on Christmas Day, retailing at £750. Clint didn't need to make an example of Averex the way he did. He lightly burned the bridge for good. Had he been a bit more diplomatic, he could have kept the door open for potential future business. Some would say Clint's attitude was arrogant and disrespectful. But to be fair, Averex could have dealt with Clint more diplomatically when he reached out to them, even if they felt it was too early to work with him. To completely ignore him as if he wasn't even worth the time that goes into a simple email comes across as arrogant and disrespectful. Let's not forget, at the time Clint reached out to Averex, Palace had dropped several collaborations with them. If Averex saw the value in collaborating with Cortez, it would have happened. Evidently, they didn't know who Clint was. Unfortunately for them, he did. So when they aired him, he took it personally. By the time Averex were celebrating their relaunch in the UK, Clint had already designed the Gutter Green Air Max 95s with Nike behind the scenes, and the rise of Cortez had a much bigger buzz than the return of Averex. A Cortez collab would have been a heck of an entrance back into the UK for Averex. While the brand is undoubtedly iconic by its own merit, they would have most definitely benefited from tapping into Cortez's younger demographic and the constant hype around the brand. But I'm sorry to say, the two brands will likely never collab. Like Lynn said, it's too late. <laughs>